Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to Harmon Homestead. Guys, I've got a sweet little hen here with me today, and we're going to talk to you about silky breeding colors. Let's talk about paint, black, and white today. So let me start out by saying years ago, when I first got into silky chickens, I bought adult chickens from someone. We did not ask what they were bred to, what they were bred with, their genetics. All we did was just want to get certain colors. I had buff, I had partridge, I had white, I had black, but I didn't know what their genetics were. So down through the years, I have decided that I like black, white, and paint. And this year was the first year that I was able to hatch my own paints. She is a paint. She is not the best paint that you want, okay? Typically, a paint chicken, it will be white, and it will have, oh, mama, black spots all through it. Hers are a little bit faded. Now, she could use a bath, definitely. She's not going to pick up as white as she is in the camera, but you want it to look like Dalmatian spots all through the chicken. These look extremely similar to splashes. Splash have usually a kind of a gray tint. I'm almost 100% sure she is a paint like she's been painted with black all over. Again, she's not the best coloring that you want, but she would be good enough to put in my breeding program. See that little tuff of black feathers, then it stops, and then a tuff again, a tuff there. You want it like literally a spotted up chicken sitting in her crest. They look like Corella DeVille with the black and white hair all over, okay? Black and white, that's what you want. You can breed to get these if you start out with pure bred chickens to these colors okay so just because you go get a black silky or a white silky that's the two that's used for this or a paint silky you must check their bloodline well hey do you like the camera sweet mama she's so pretty now let me start out by saying this guys out of all the colors i've had i did want just black whites i liked that partridge is my least favorite Partridge to me has been the most durable. These chickens are hard to keep because anything, if you have any kind of chickens, white gets picked on because it's noticeable, okay? They can't hide many places. They're obvious when they stand out. Chicken hawks, predators, other chickens are drawn to a brighter color. They're usually the weaklings, okay? But I love it. So, it, to start out with this, you need paints, blacks, and whites to get this type of breeding. Go back to my older videos about blue-black splash, and you can do the same with these in the same type of breeding, and only get this if you have purebred chickens. All right, so what would happen if I bred paint to paint? You would get 50% of your chicks paint if these are purebred chickens. 25% would be white. This one is a beautiful white, ah, <laughs> mama, a beautiful white silky hen. We call her double knot because she has a doubled crest. See that here? Guys, it's beautiful. She is beautiful. She is a beautiful solid white silky chicken. A quarter of your chickens would be this color. And then another quarter would be black this is a solid black hen that i have she is gorgeous now her crest is wet this morning she's been playing in the water she is huge okay she's a beautiful black hen so you would get 50 percent paint and then 25 percent would be white 25 percent would be black you would be able to keep those colors in your pen okay what if we breed paints to whites half of your chicks would be paint half would be white there would be no black what if you bred black to paint half of your chicks would be black half of your chicks would be paint right here you're getting the same colors back and forth paint black white paint black white you can go over and over and over and over and continue your breeding program for just these chickens now what happens if you breed white silky chickens and black silky chickens, if they are purebred, you will get 100% paint, like we first showed you, and you can continue that. If they are not pure, and they have just 
happen to be that color out of what somebody has hatched, then you're going to get this gray, okay? Most of our chickens are gray, and that's what happens when you start breeding where something is not pure. Now, we still love these. I love them. They're beautiful. Some of my best chickens have been these colors. I love them. But this is what happens if you don't have a pure bred breeding line. You must be careful who you buy your chickens from and what they are. You need to ask questions. I wish we had of years ago because you're going to end up with this. This may throw down in the breeding line a paint or something along that nature, but they will never be pure because she has that gray. So the gray could come out years later in some of her chicks or great grand chicks or whatever because they are not pure. You need to get as close to pure as you can. Someone that has bred white to white over and over or white to black and paint and had it in that breeding line to get a beautiful paint chicken and start that breeding line. I almost would say, guys, hatcheries will breed these certain chickens over and over and over. So if you could get them from there, but somebody down the road that just has a white silky chicken that you're just getting the color for that's fine if you just want that color but as far as breeding you need to ask what were the parent chicks or pit chickens go over there and see what the parents look like check the breeding that way you'll know because if not you may get something like that if you're wanting to breed later on and you probably will because Everybody that has silkies usually tends to love silkies and they want to keep on and on and on. And certain colors are only accepted by the American Bantam Association if you are ever wanting to show chickens. They really want these solid, beautiful colors. I know partridge, partridge is accepted, white, black, things like that. So you need to see. Now, this is one of our roosters. He's a beautiful black rooster, isn't he? He's not black. I want you guys to check for this when you're trying to get chickens. This in his neck here, look at that coming through. See all that gray? That is called leakage. That is genes mixed in him that is coming out in his feathers here. You will notice it in the, the neck feathers and a lot of times in the tail feathers. His don't have any. He's just got slight leakage at his neck where those colors are starting to pop through. I cannot breed paint black splash with him and it turn out perfectly right. The offspring may look paint, they may look black, they may look white, but they have that genetic, whatever's in there coming through in them and it will carry on in later generations. This is why it's so important to get pure chickens, pure if you're going to breed. All right guys, last but not least, this is how important genetics are. So I told you we started out years ago with buff, which is an orange color partridge, white, black, whatever. I ended up getting rid and rehoming of my orange colored chickens, but I did hatch chicks off those. All of them looked gray, black, white. Now my entire pen, we're probably four to five generations on in of breeding, is all paint, black, white, or gray. This chick hatched this spring. This is a beautiful buff chicken. This is Marshmallow. We've kept her, we love her, my husband loves her, but this is how genetics will show up years later. It just happened. It just showed up. And when you breed chickens, guys, you think that everything is supposed to be identical, just like identical twins or triplets or whatever, but it, sometimes it just doesn't happen that way. And unless you are doing something completely pure Something like this can show up later on down the pike that you never expected, okay? It's very, very hard in my experience with silkies. Silkies will carry different things. It's just, it's harder to breed those than it is blue, black splash wine dots or Americanas. These are hard because there's, they're just so finicky to breed. And it's so hard to get some that are completely purebred that you have found over and over that will is able to continue that cycle. So we've got Marshmallow here. We probably will not breed with her, but we think she's beautiful. And guys, regardless of the chart, the paint black and splash, again, some of my chicks that have hatched and been these colors have been my best. It's been everybody else's favorite. There's nothing wrong with it, but if you're trying to breed paint black and white, you have to have pure chickens. Okay, so hopefully that'll help you guys. We've got a lot of people watching these videos about genetics, and I thought maybe I could show you what I've learned along the way. We'll see you guys next time on Harmon Homestead.